Welcome to, uh, I think this is now episode five. I think it is, yes. Episode five yes. of, of Love OB TV, and we're in um, a very, very posh place today, I know, aren't we? Very plush, I yes. I think you've already spent, spent I've your spent salary some money already. <laughs> looking around at some of the lights, <laughs> some asking things. me to take pictures of, but we're at OB House. We are, and, and it's beautiful. Those of our listeners and watchers that don't know where OB House, we're joined by Mark and Daniela. So where is OB House? Uh, well, we're located on the parade, yeah. 89 to 91. Yeah. Um, it's a building that's been used for many decades now for interiors and uh, sofas. Locally, the, the last business that was here was a company called Multi York. Yes, yeah, I remember. Uh, which people, unfortunately, they went out of business, yeah. which left the building empty. Uh, yeah. For, uh, it's a lovely building, isn't it? it went, to look at it from the outside, it's a big... Yeah, we, we, we felt it's quite an iconic building in mm. the OB area. Yeah. Um, it's one. It's the main building you see as you come out yeah. and exit Leicester on the A6. Um, yeah, and it's one of the reasons we looked at it. It'd been empty for a while. Uh, we'd sort of outgrown where we were. Yeah. Um, so we were looking for new premises. We, we looked at this building, thought it's a good location. It's on a, on a retail uh, road, which is what we like. Yeah. Um, the, there's three businesses involved here. Yeah, I was going to say, because it's not just one business here, is it, Daniela? There's, there's three companies that have come under one roof to... That's right. So we've got um, Sherwin Hall Kitchens. Okay. We've got Michael John Flooring. Yep. And Maison Interiors. Wow. So the three businesses have, for a long time, worked together, yep. but all independently. Yeah. And it was always a dream to bring everything under one roof. Because you've been in different locations. We've all been in different yeah. locations and to sort of try and present to a customer the full package yeah. and then sort of say, now you've got to get in your car and drive here. Yeah. Um, wasn't really the service yeah. we wanted to offer. So be able to, to be able to find this building where we could all come together. Yeah. Um, and it's merged seamlessly and yeah. it's working yeah. wonderfully for customers. Well, yeah. It looks really <clears throat> impressive. And what's been the response like from the customers and um, the residents it, of OB? It's been very positive. A lot of the um, uh, local residents were worried that it might be another fast food store or a coffee there shop. There had been rumours. I've yes, yeah, heard yeah. rumours. They, 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 they've store. had lots of offers for gymnasiums yeah. in here, which, while they're very popular, they're not ideal for a retail sector. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the fact that we one we're in we're all independent businesses yeah. which people like rather than seeing another generic chain. Yeah. Um, we we sell good products. We yeah. present really well. So from externally, even if you know you, you're not looking for a kitchen or a sofa or floor, it, it's nice to have in, in in the local vicinity. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of people uh, customers that travel to us okay. from all over Leicestershire. So it's also bringing uh, new people to the Opie Town Centre. So town centre. as good as it is for us, we yeah. feel we're hopefully bringing something to the local area as well. So you've got your new people and we were saying earlier to your existing customers yes. are yeah. coming yeah. Yes, too, aren't definitely. they? So, yeah. And you've been here since October? Yep, yeah. yes, yes. October. Yeah. 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 So, so you would have been here to see the Christmas lights and festive yes, lights switch on and, and yeah. things. And I've seen on Facebook recently about the, the kind of mural or the painting that you've had done on the window. Someone had actually put it onto the Love Oaks Facebook Brilliant. page. Yes. And it's something you noticed. Yeah. So, so what's the idea behind that? Because that's a bit unusual to, to have. For us, it's really about supporting local yeah. and encouraging and working together with local businesses. And Vishal is from Oadby. Okay. Um, he's a friend of a friend, so to yep. speak, of of, um, of Sherwin Hall. And he bought some of his artwork in. Oh, okay. Just to show us, would this be something we could, you know, any of our clients be interested in? And we've got some amazing wall space. Yeah. And I said yeah. to Vishal, would you like to actually put some of your art on the walls? Yeah. Um, from that, I then did a bit more research about Vishal. And he actually won an award for doing some window art at the Curve Theatre. Right. So I thought, hmm, um, <laughs> would he do something here? Yeah. And again, we just wanted something that was interesting for people that yeah. were walking by and to see that yeah. we are supporting local people. Yeah. Um, and our, our aim is that every couple of months we're going to have a new sort of Leicester legend, yeah. Leicester icon on the window. Wow. And we would ask people to come and get the photograph taken with yeah. it and send, you know, post yeah. it on social yeah. media. Brilliant, yeah. fantastic um, so just, idea. Yeah. You know, just really celebrating all what Leicester has to offer. Yeah. I think it's so, so important. That's what we want to try and achieve with Lavobi, isn't yeah. it? It's about promoting all the great independent retailers mm. that we have along the parade and within OB and, and celebrating what goes on. And getting um, that support there for everybody. No, you know, no. OB is a great place to, to, to come yeah. and be, to live, shop, yeah. you know, so I think just... We just really want to be part of the community, yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. And no. 
Fan- support where we can. Fantastic. Really. Well, we'd love to have a bit of a guided tour around in a bit, if that's okay, because we're only... I'll be spending some more money now, you do realise. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's fine, don't worry about that. <laughs> Put my hand credit, in my pocket. Leave your credit card yeah. on the way out. Yeah. So, um, but we've got a jam-packed we have, um, episode. Yes. So we've been to the OPU Centre to meet with Brian and Graham there yeah. and the fabulous work that they do. We've been to the OPU Moss. Yeah. Um, to you ha- had a good, to have good a, time there. And then, we met yeah. with the High Sheriff of Leicester. Wow, yeah. Um, there as well. And that was really, really interesting. I, yeah. learnt, I learnt a lot there. So we've got a small bit to talk about on that. Good. We've got three, four top events coming up in OPU. Which we need to tell um, everybody about. But... Have you recovered from Sunday? No, yet? I don't know whether I have actually. <laughs> I still fit. Sunday was brilliant because yeah. we did the swimathon, didn't we? Yes. At, at um, um, everyone active. Everyone active. I still Park know it was Parklands yes. Leisure Centre. Um, brilliant turnout. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. I th- I'm not quite sure what time it started. Was it about nine thirty in the uh, morning? It might have been nine thirty, or it might have been about midday. Yes. Yeah, so they got. But teams they had and six, six, six teams on the hour yeah, every hour, yeah. um, and a special mention to Manor High School. They were, um, they were. I think they'd put, put a couple of teams in as well. Brilliant. Um, and obviously, we, we filmed episode two at Manor High School we as did, well because yes. that hot chocolate Friday. Yeah, yeah. Um, there as well. I can't, can't Remember forget that. that. Quite but, well, yeah. um, again, supported by local uh, businesses as well. So Everard's su- mm-hmm. sponsored them, yeah. and Newby Custom and the accountants. Yeah. Uh, I think they're on Regent Road, off the top of my head. Um, so we did a hundred and we did one hundred and twenty-seven lengths. Yeah. with no training. I yes. just like to highlight that. <laughs> so impressive. I think we yes. did really well. After length two or three, I was starting to think. Question, oh, well, we my questioned goodness. what have we let yeah. ourselves in for? But it was it was it was yeah. great fun, and it was for eight. So eight local eight charities. Eight local charities, and there was one overseas. And one overseas there? charity, yeah. and they they aim to raise around seven to eight thousand pounds for those, and that's with the Rotary Club. Um, really well organised yeah, event. It was, um, yeah. I think our final total was around kind of three hundred pounds. Yeah. Feel free raising. to get Mark involved in that next year. <laughs> we, well, we could call on an OB House team. They could. Submit that would a team, be a good idea. Well, we want two teams next year. Yes. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, we we have signed up to uh, to do a run at the Leicester Racecourse, haven't we? So yes, yes. which is a charity event for yes. bamboozled. I believe. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. When's that? Um, Late June. June yes. Oh, okay. I can't quite remember. What is I think I'm trying to block it from <laughs> my mind. What is what? Well, it's a, it's a marathon uh, being held at the race course, oh, okay. right. but you can do it as a team event. So instead okay. of you all having to do the full 26 yeah. miles, you split it between the team. So, but, um, which is useful because nobody started any training yet. And uh, no. okay. <laughs> and have you got enough people? Uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to join us, well, I was going to say. Well. <laughs> well, I used to run actually. Yes. I used to run. I did nine and a half marathons and a marathon. Yes, yeah, but yeah. that was quite a long time ago. So yes. then I think you're part of our team now. <laughs> yeah. I, I would glad seriously, yeah. happily join yeah. you. If it's you for a really good yeah. charity. Yeah. Oh, okay. For, um, children, do you know what I want to say now? It's for. Um, Encouraging them to get involved in arts. Right. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So that's so, in that's in June. So you, I'm sure you can put us both down. Don't for that. worry. I'll Seriously. send you an email yeah. later. Yeah. 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 Put, yeah. put us put us both down for that. Brilliant. So yeah. And we'll, Thank you very much. Uh, again, it's it's all for. So it's the all community. Good causes, it's all you know. It's yeah. just yeah. that community yeah. spirit, yeah. which is but what we had on. Because we Sunday. do that. Yeah. Then we, we need it reciprocated. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I agree. One, one to that's one yeah. to us. Wing, wing walking or skydiving, Danielle is, Danielle is your lady. Oh my word! Yeah. You're braver than me. <laughs> so um, I did. I have treasured my swimming certificate. That was our swimming certificate from uh, from Sunday as well. Yeah, don't hold that up too high. No, <laughs> no. I'll, I'll just. Cool, I'll hold this one up instead because that's the t-shirt. So yeah, there we go. Everyone got a t-shirt. My last yeah. swimming certificate was a five meter badge <laughs> when I was nine years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and we've had some uh, a local OB resident uh, reach out to us. We um, have. After we went to the uh, youth club where they volunteer um, at the youth club. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Mullins. Charlie Mullins, yes. Um, so we've now got an official scout for our uh, community activities. Yes. Um, and they've, they've suggested a, yeah, a, a great event. And it yeah. brings me back to the Granby Hall days. Can you remember Granby Hall? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Gosh, that, oh no, don't, that makes us you sound like we're really old. I feel yeah. shocked now. <laughs> don't do that. But they've got this skaters club yeah, going, haven't they? they Every have. Saturday yeah. um, between 6.30 and 8.30pm. Yeah, and you can book online. You and, can. and it's a pound cheaper if you go it online. Is. Yes. And you can high skate, so you haven't got to worry yep. about having skates yourself. And it's and it's good fun. It's a good workout, though. If you, 
yeah. I've not skated for a couple of years. Well, we didn't. We hadn't swum for no. ages either. It looks to him like they do parties and things as well. Yeah. So, um, so, so we'll pop, we'll pop some details on the bottom of the video yeah. so that if you are interested, you can pop along. And uh, so it's skater skatersclub.org.uk or they do have a Facebook page as well. So again, pop along to there. Yep. Um, it's every Saturday. Um, Twilight Walk. Laros. Yes. Now, unfortunately, I'm not doing it. No, you're not. Because I'm not here. But, but I know there are about eight, eight or nine it. of your they colleagues are. are. Yes, definitely. Um, so that's the ten kilometre mm -hmm. walk around Leicester for Laros. It's a ladies yeah. only event. Yeah. Oh. And the, and the fee. <laughs> well, you could go on the support. <laughs> um, but it is. Uh, we've done it. I think this is our fourth year yeah. that we've gone on yeah. to support it. So we we hang around at. Um, we hang around at the end with the chocolate. At the end with the chocolate wants. near yeah. Victoria Park. Um, and you get the really keen, serious ones that come in after about 40 minutes and you get the stragglers about two and a half hours later that maybe have popped in for a few yeah. shandies on the way around. <laughs> um, but it's all for Loas. It is, yeah. Um, we've got a quick video just to okay. play because I went along to meet Abigail um, or Abby at Loas to find out more about okay. the, the Twilight Walk. So I just wanted to show a little bit where that money kind of goes to and what how vital it is. Yeah. So we'll just show a bit of that video. Okay. okay. Hi Abby. Hello. Hi. Um, so for the past three, four years we've been supporting the yeah. Twilight Walk. So um, what's what I think everyone's dying to know is what is the, the theme for this year's walk? So this year's theme is Under the Sea. Wow. Which we're very excited yeah. about. We anticipate to see lots of uh, mermaids Mermaid, and sea creatures yeah. around on the day. So yeah, really excited. Yeah. And, the, and I know from experience there's normally some creative costumes Absolutely. that are either made or, or purchased doing that walk around Leicester and how far have people got to walk? So it's a 10k walk okay. through Leicester, ladies, yeah. biggest uh, night out in yeah. Leicester for ladies. Yes, because it is ready. just ladies That's and obviously right. uh, children as well, female children. That's correct, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, as long as they're accompanied by an adult. So yeah, so, yeah we have um, merchandise on our online shop to buy, yeah. but like you say as well, we do encourage people to get creative as well. Yeah, no, brilliant. So, um, so how can people find out more about the Twilight Walk and how can they register to come and take part? So the best thing to do would be to go to our website, which is loss.co.uk yeah. forward slash twilight. Brilliant. On there you can register. At the moment um, it is £12 per person to yeah. sign up. Um, we do encourage people to gain sponsorship as well because yeah. it's not compulsory. Yeah. Um, and uh, everybody receives a bib number yeah. and t-shirt as part of their fundraising. Fantastic. So we'll pop the link at the bottom of the video. So if, if you want to sign up um, or even make a donation to last as well. So I know that we're going to be at the station at Victoria Park. Um, and kind of that last leg as head, people head down back to the King Power Stadium. Because yeah. of course that's where it starts. That's correct. Um, there's normally a bit of a... Uh, an event there, isn't yeah. there? That's, that's that kicks things off. So we'll be there handing out chocolate bars, which always seem to go down well. I was going to say, I really appreciate it. After yeah. Walk up, uh, New walk. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, last last year we even had some dancers uh, that, that did some dancing, and, and we even had Hot Shot, the riders' mascot, at the top Beautiful. of uh, greeting all the ladies, and they want to give him a hug as well. So. Um, so if you'd like to find out more information, then please pop along to the last website. Um, I know um, that there are eight ladies from Knightsbridge Estate Agents that are going to be taking part yes. and they're setting up a group fundraising page as well. Because um, I know many of those ladies have had, have had relatives that have been in Loas or have been supported by Loas. So what is Loas all about? Because for those people out there that don't know what Loas is, I know it is a specific Leicestershire and Rutland based charity. Yes. So what does Loas provide? So like you say, we're uh, specific to Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. We're a hospice charity. So we provide specialist palliative care to patients and their families yeah. over 2,500 every year um, wow. at our hospice here on yeah. Ruby Road. And I can imagine running uh, a facility like this, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, even just when we came into reception, we were greeted with a smile by the lovely ladies on reception. It can't be can't be cheap to run a facility like this. No, I mean, our volunteers are such a massive support yeah. we couldn't continue without them, basically. They are wonderful, um, but it does cost us more and more every yeah. year. And currently, um, we do need to generate six million pounds in- Wow, um, that's a big number. It is, yeah, yeah. donated and, and voluntary income. So that's yeah. where our fundraising events Now, are. I know one thing that's, that's probably on the lips of a lot of people is that quite often when they donate to charity, 
the charities don't really see a lot of that money. So out of every pound, how much is going to the actual hospice itself to help support its patients? So we're really proud of the fact that it's 90 pence in every pound oh, is brilliant. directly towards patient care. Yeah, fantastic. Because yeah. you do hear about that, don't yeah. you? So, no, that's brilliant. So 90p in every pound that's raised is going direct into LOAS to help support its patients. So if you'd like to help get involved uh, with LOAS, even just make a donation for the Twilight Walk, or even just pop out in Leicester, um, which is it's on the 6th of April. Yeah. So pop out into Leicester and see the, the great costumes that are out and about. You won't be disappointed. I know some of the ladies do get a little bit wobbly on the way around and maybe <laughs> visit some of the pubs as well. But it's all good fun yeah. um, and it's all for a great cause. So uh, pop along to the link below and um, certainly come along and, and help and donate um, if you see us at the top of Victoria Park. So £25 pays for an hour's worth of care at last. So that's, that's it, how vital it is. The, the, I, you actually did something, I think, when we did Levobi TV last time, mm -hmm. at how much it actually costs a year to run the actual Lawrence yes. Hospice itself. And I have to be fair, I can't remember the figure, but no, it was but phenomenally high. Yeah, yeah. So all of this fundraising is, yeah. is vital to, to yeah. ensure yeah. that it, it, it keeps going. Yeah, no, definitely. So, and that's on the 6th of, uh, 6th 6th of April. 6th of April, yeah. Uh, so I think there's still time to enter yeah. uh, if you want to uh, enter for the, and it's under the sea is the theme. So all right, okay. I'm sure there's going to be lots of mermaids walking around <laughs> Leicester uh, and things like that. So Could be entertaining. Um, but this coming Saturday, yeah. we're doing the Tower Run. We are. So that's St <laughs> George's, that's St George's Tower. So you know the tower at the bottom of London Road near yes. the train station. It's the blue building. It's got yes, coloured yeah. yeah. squares. squares. So three hundred and fifty-one steps. Yep. We don't know what time we're doing yet. No. Uh, or starting. I'm sure you'll um, let me know. So we'll let you know. But at the weekend, I was fortunate to find the training venue. So yeah, you, fortunate or unfortunate, I'm not sure. Well, I'm taking, I'm taking it seriously because I do get competitive. So, um, so I've got a very quick video to show from I that because I did, did send it that. to you. Didn't did. I? Yeah, so you did we've got a very quick video. Okay. Yeah. This is just for you. Um, I'm going on my first training run and I'm taking the step challenge very seriously. So off I go, see what I look like at the top. I've only made it halfway. And, oh, it's going to be painful. I'm not looking forward to that now. That was that was two thirds of the step. That was the worrying bit. I think yeah. you did 200 roughly. 200 didn't you? steps, and I've still got 100. Yeah, and you look a yeah. little exhausted, and we've got another 151 <laughs> yeah. to do on top of that. But we'll do it. Yeah. We'll keep each other going. Just, there we just, go. Just a little bit. So. Yeah. And we raised. People can still donate. They can. On that because yeah. we've raised quite a lot of money between us so far. I think. Yeah. So I think you're about 360, 370 yeah. pounds. I'm yeah. at around 350 pounds. I want to try and get to the. Five hundred pounds. Yeah, it would be lovely if between us we could raise a. a is that for a local charity as that's well? Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's for yeah. Lois. That's for Lois as well. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, if we could do a thousand, it would be. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if anybody still wishes to wishes donate, to donate then they can. Then I think Kate Bacass could make a donation. Thank, Thank that'd you. That'd be amazing. Thank you. Um, another uh, local community organisation I got invited to recently was the OBU Centre and yeah, a gentleman called Brian on, Mellows yeah. um, said come along have a look at the work that we do and the amount of times I've driven past it and you've probably done the same it's on the OB Wigston Road and you're driving past and it's literally just as you come out of OB you go past what was the old Hermitage Hotel yeah, yeah, that's yeah. now the apartments and on the right hand side there's the OBU Centre yeah, yeah. so yeah, went in um, and they originally were on the London Road in right. uh, Open, and then they relocated. Um, but the great work there, and the best bit is that you know, have you ever watched Gladiators? Yes. And they have the inflatable with the cotton, big yeah. cotton. They have one of those there. So you were in your element then. Weren't well, you? I, had, I had a, I had, a, <laughs> I did get to have a quick go, but yeah. the kids did beat me. So we've got a quick video to show about okay. that. But we there is the extended well. video as well. Okay. And it is well worth if if you do have children in the area, or if you're looking to help the local community, that they are looking for volunteers. But it's a great, great place to go to. We. The, the spirit of the volunteers there is amazing. So, um, but we've got a quick video of the Gladiator Joust uh, just to show you. Good. So That's please don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So have you got the sticks? 
You got, oh wow. Okay. Okay. So, so who's going to challenge me? <laughs> so we're going to we're going to do the best of three, are we? Stop! <laughs> oh, Walked on the bouncy castle to check some stuff off on the and I couldn't stand up. No, I wouldn't. Whoa! Oh, that was a good one. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little bobble, eh? <laughs> Another go. <laughs> It's a big one, really, I won't. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I can honestly say, thank you. I can honestly say, <laughs> you are a child in Opie and you're looking to have some fun. You're not going to get challenging Georgia down here at the OBU Centre. And you'll get fit as well, as I found out today. So, pop down and say hello to them on the Wigston Road and you'll have some great fun. Say hello to Graham and Brian as well. I told you not to. I can't help it. Yeah. So, but at least you tried. You did I did. Your best. I did. I did try, but it was good fun and it's yeah. hard work. And what age is it for the youth centre? Uh, I think they go up to about eighteen. Okay. Um, but they tend to, from the video, from memory, I think they tend to stop around kind of fourteen, fifteen. Okay. There are still, and some of them then go on to volunteer as well. Okay. So uh, they do they, lots of different events and things. Yeah, don't and there's they? a pool, Just... pool table, uh, TV room, games room, computer room. Um, they've even got a piece of artwork where, I think it's from about 1996 off the top of my head, where in, in one of the rooms where they drew their kind of favourite kind of characters like Dennis the Menace and that's been, been right. preserved since 1996 brilliant. and there, it's quite... Yeah, uh, De quite definitely good. worth seeing. Yeah, so, no, no, uh, yeah no, I remember I was mentioning I think once before and it just helps the youngsters create their kind of life yeah. skills and things as well. So yeah. it's quite varied, isn't it, with yeah. regards to what they offer, yeah, no, which is excellent. No, definitely. So. so we've got some other events. We have. Uh, we have a family fun day um, that is being um, organised by the Royal British Legion. Yeah. Um, and just in case people don't know where that is, it's just on the corner next to St Peter's church yes, yeah. um, so they've got a kids disco and karaoke uh, which is taking place um, this Friday, yeah, Friday the, 8th, the, 8th. the 8th between 6 p.m. and 9.30 um, members and the non-members are welcome yeah. so yeah. that would be worth a, yeah. worthwhile a visit um, and we've also got the Leicester Grammar School okay um, they've got the Leicester Grammar School big band in concert so I think that would be definitely worth a visit. I can imagine that's going to be um, pretty they impressive. Are, yeah, they are doing that. That's on Wednesday the 10th of April and they're doing that and raising money for uh, Alzheimer's. Yeah. So all for a, a, another good cause. Yeah. Um, I believe the tickets, I have to check, they're £10. Uh, Under 18s you, are free. Correct, yeah. And so, you can get more information at leicestergrammar.org.uk yeah. forward slash You'll noted, I think. On, yeah. the, on the screen, so, won't you? And starts at 7.30. Yeah, no. Brilliant. Yeah. I can imagine that would be quite a good uh, kind of good good evening. And then the final one we've is got. the yoga. The yoga. Yeah, so it's family yoga, um, which is obviously at Oby. It's on Stoughton Road mm. in Oby. There's a, like a yoga fitness okay. centre. Uh, the last one was actually um, just this week, just gone, last week. Yeah, it was uh, on the Sunday, next, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, the yeah. next one's on the 7th of April. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've uh, never done yoga. No, I no, haven't no, either, no. but people talk no. about it. Have you done I have to. Have is you? it good? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you do it still now? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I've killed that conversation. Yeah. yeah. So I think I've been yeah. meaning for a long time yeah. to, get to redo back. the seventh yes. of April. Seven get April. yourself down yeah. there. So uh the rest eleven of the design team all do yoga. So oh, I may okay. have to yeah. get them all. Okay. Yeah, in the, I'm assuming the time is the same. It was eleven yeah. thirty till twelve thirty and suitable for all ages. Yeah. yeah there you go. Oh, fantastic. So, so um, recently I popped to the Obi Mosque. You did? As well. Yeah. Uh, met with Haf there. Yeah. Have you met met with Haf before? No. Bit of an Obi legend. He's so, so engrossed there in the community. There seems to be a lot of Obi legends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, he does an awful lot with Obi Owls Football Club, um, right. which we're going to see as well. Right. Um, 
So um, I've volunteered to have penalty kicks taken at me in goal. Um, I just hope it's not a rainy, wet day. Mm, okay, uh, that might so not be a good idea. At the end of the month. But yeah. we went to have you a look at... You do get yourself roped into things, I don't seem you? to, don't yeah. I? Um, so we went to have a, a tour around the mosque um, and went into the prayer room, which was really, really interesting. Yeah. Um, also had underfloor heating. Nice. Which was nice. Yeah. Um, and met a wonderful young gentleman. Yeah. Um, and he's actually memorised the Quran. Oh my word. Yeah. How long did that take him? Uh, I believe it was about four to five years it's taken him wow. to get to that stage. Some can do it a bit quicker, but that's good going. But yeah, very knowledgeable. We talked about the religion. Yeah. Um, we talked about being involved in the local OB community because they mm -hmm. did have a recent uh, Open My Mosque Day, so any member of the public yeah. could go along. But it's a community centre and you can pop in. They do ladies only events. I think they do ladies kind of yoga and fitness. And as well. anybody can go. Anyone can go. Anyone can go along. Yeah. Um, great cup of tea as well. Yeah. Um, so um, we've got a very short video of that chat with that young gentleman. Um, so we'll cut to that now. Brilliant. So we've come to the prayer room and it's, it's lovely and warm. It's even got underfloor heating in here as well. So, and I'm joined by this very handsome chap that's, that's with us today. Thank so, you. Well, what's your name, sir? Um, Raza. Raza. So, so Raza, what, what, what's great about the community centre? What's great about the community centre is everyone can come yeah. from all different backgrounds. If you want to see us pray, you can. Yeah. And I think it's just good for all of us just to come together and talk about around the world and yeah. just everyday life. Yeah, so regardless of faith, yeah. You, yeah. Everyone, every, everyone's, everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. Yeah. That fantastic, absolute, absolutely brilliant initiative. So, so how often would you come to the community centre? Um, if I come to the community centre, it'd usually be um, in the holidays because of school. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but if it's in the holidays, then I try to come every day. Fantastic. So um, I can pray, obviously, yeah. and... Um, when it comes to special occasions, yeah. I always come. Yeah. No matter what else we're doing, because I like to come to stuff like this yeah. to talk about. So usually we do stuff in Ramadan. Yeah. Um, so I think we have um, open the mosque day, so everyone comes. Yes. So that's on yeah. Sunday, the third of third uh, yeah. of March. And sometimes we have um, another day, um, interfaith day. So yeah. um, we have that part of, of the mosque open. Yeah. This part of the mosque open, and we have some people sitting at the back. And we do our prayers, and um, after we do our prayers, we go in there and we discuss the yeah. stuff like one to one with other people. Right. And, okay. And um, just talk about. So a bit, bit of a chat, yeah. bit of a yeah. conversation, and getting to know different it's, people. Yeah. It's not always about religion. Sometimes it's just about like what's going on in the outside world. Yeah. And how we as together could make could it help. Yeah, yeah. Make make a difference. Now definitely. So now now here on on the Great Farm, you're a bit of a footballer. Yeah. So you play for OBL. So what's your position for OBLs? Uh, left back. Left back. So you're the Ashley Cole of uh, <laughs> of the OBLs, are you? Yes. So, so what do you love about OBLs? Um. I love it just because it's, oh, it's my passion, really. Yeah. And um, I think it's just great because, not just because it's football, but just because all different types of backgrounds come together and we play together and it's just fun. Really. Yeah, fun. And, and great managing like, like by half and uh, yeah. other coaches and it's just what makes it the day sometimes. Yeah, it is a real good, again, yeah. great community, great community group. Yeah. So, um, and you go to a local school as well? Yeah. So, which school do you go uh, to? Gartree High School. Gartree, is it good? Yeah, it's a very great school. Yeah, very good school. you're doing well at school? Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. You. yeah, thank you. Yeah, Fan well. Fantastic. Done all your homework over half yeah, term? Yeah, I like doing my homework as <laughs> soon as I get it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and what do, what's the best bit about OB? What, is, what would you say is the best bit about OB? I think the best bit of OB is just that we all work together. Yeah. I think compared to other cities and stuff, I just, not in a bad way, I just think OB is one of the main town cities that we just like work together we get over things and especially like this center here we can come together and just talk and yeah forget about what's going on around the world with the streamists and stuff like that yeah. we just come down and tell them look, those people out there they ain't muslims they ain't like who they say they are yeah they're just bad people with twisted minds yeah but 
Whereas yeah. OB, we all, everyone yeah. gets on together, like what we've seen when it comes to the festive light switch yeah. on, to open the mosque day, yeah. to OB hours, to all the different community groups that go on in OB. It, it's a great hub that everyone just gets on together, but there's so much out there, isn't there, that, yeah. that people can do. Sadly, there is, yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, so fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Um, we're, we're just awaiting the visit of the High Sheriff to come, yeah. and, to come and visit the, the community centre and the mosque, so we're looking forward to that. Um, hopefully I'll come and see you when you're playing up at OBL soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Ma'am, please. I told you it was very knowledgeable. I, I just think it's good, you know, we have different religions and things, obviously, within yeah. OB, and I think it's important that people understand, yeah. um, you know, everybody's, yeah. everybody's yeah. religion, everybody's faith or whatever, and I think it's fantastic that they open it up for yeah. anybody to go along and, and, yeah. and see. Yeah, no, so. they, def they definitely want to be very much involved in the community, as they were with the festive lights switch yeah. on. Yeah. Half was, uh, I think he actually took the stage to do the switch on with that, so yeah. very good local celebrity. Good. So, um, but, but back to where we are. Mm, I think we should have a look now. So I, think I need to spend some more. <laughs> That's fine, yeah. <laughs> we take all major cards. Yeah, so, don't we? <laughs> so no, I think, I think we need to have a, have a, have a wander around because there's all the different parts to it. I can see we've got flooring. Yep. We've got the kitchens in front of us. We've got uh, carpets, rugs and runners. And we've not even been upstairs yet. No, so, no, no. There's plenty of um, We can let these lovely people explain. I think, I think let's, let's have a bit of a look around. Yeah, come so, on. Okay, hello everybody again, and we're just going to have a quick look now around the showroom here with Mark and Daniela. So I've already seen some lovely things that I would actually like to purchase myself yes. when I move home. Um, so actually, Liam, I'd quite like you to pan in on the lights for me, if you yes. don't mind, because they are absolutely <coughs> amazing. Um, the really nice thing that I like about this is they've got some beautiful things, but quite individual yeah. things as well. So um, let's have a look around, guys, and see what, yeah. We've, yeah. See what we've got. Absolutely. So... I know it's not just about kitchens and no. there's lots of, and I can see here, because I know I've been looking for kind of flooring recently yeah, as well. Home, all done yeah, yeah. So, um, so we've got diff all different types of flooring. I can see you've got mm -hmm. carpets as well, but we've got Antico. So yeah, yeah this is, um, so this, Antico are a, a very, yeah. very big brand. Um, it's um, a vinyl type product. Okay. We use it in literally any room of the house, but yeah. it is specifically good for things like kitchens, conservatories, yeah. bathrooms. So areas where you need to mop the floor, yeah. you know, when you make sandwiches, Always. things, you drop yeah. stuff on it, yeah. you can easily clean it. And the really good thing is, it's down and installed on the floor, which you can see in our own showroom yeah. here. It, it looks really effective. Yeah. The, the woods look like you've got a wooden yes. floor. Yeah. Yeah. Very little maintenance, there's no maintenance really other than cleaning it. So, so there's even kind of tarred effects, marble effects. And, and we can do herringbone designs, basket yeah, weaves. So it hasn't all... could be laid straight. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a much harder, the wood is much harder than natural wood. Yeah. So if you have ladies that wear heeled shoes at home, you haven't it's got to worry good. about it. And, yeah. you know, well, or gentlemen that wear heeled yeah. shoes. Or gentlemen, yes, if you're, yeah. if you're of that persuasion. <laughs> Um, this particular brand is very good. It's uh, manufactured yes. in Coventry. Oh, okay. So, so it's so local. Very, very local. Brand, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the lo the longest established brand in okay. this this type of flooring. Yeah. I can see you've got a good selection for people to kind of choose from. It's, it's vast, and the, the other important thing is with this that we we do all the um, installation and everything ourselves. So oh, we do okay. all the floor okay. preparation, so site you, surveys. You source it, make sure the floor's good yeah. enough. Yeah. Come and fit it. Yeah. Again, just make sure. And we'll make sure when it's yeah, it's done and yeah. it's all it's all fitted. That's not always the case. <clears throat> when you go to places, you actually no. the fact that you get some then, to come and lay. You and then got to find someone yeah. yourself. Well, that, that's or, the yeah. thing. Or it's a list of numbers to yeah. ring. Yeah. That um, goes across the board with our business it, as right, well. Yes. So yeah. we say with everything, it's from design through to installation. Yeah. And we have all our own tradespeople that we bring in, and again, they're all local. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it, the customers having that finished product and they can come back to us, so yeah. we, we project manage it. Yeah. Everything's seamless for the customer. Good. So, we always yeah. say we've, we've got a front door, so if the job's done and there's a problem, you can walk through the yeah. door and speak to one of the people you've de been dealing with. It's yeah. not a, here's a mobile phone number for yeah. an installer, yeah. and then you website, try and chase them, or a, yeah, 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 it's not online. Like, we, yeah, we, we, we're people, and yeah. you know, we, we're here, we plan to be here for a long time. Yeah. Between us, we've been going over 100 years, wow. so. Yeah, we're not not planning on on going anywhere. So, Mark, what have we actually got upstairs? Because yes, we have we have quite bigger space on there. Yes, we have quite a mix. Um, so just to our right here. Yeah. Um. So this is where our design team will work. This is where the hard work happens. So if you want to sort of mose through and. Oh gosh, I can see. I think we need to go and say hello to. I think. Yes. 
No. So when we were saying about downstairs, not having samples and everything on display, because that's not how you live in a no. kitchen. But we need to be able to obviously present everything and so options to customers. So this is the design office. So we do presentations to clients yeah. up here. Yeah. And here we have everything around us that yeah. we need to be able to give all the options. <laughs> it yeah. is. Well, like I say, this is where the hard work happens. Yeah. So <laughs> these are the design team. Yeah. Hello, ladies. <laughs> There's no gentleman there. No, no, no. 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 But alongside the furniture, uh, the, the sort of sofa side of things, we, there's also a lot of accessories. So table lamps, mirrors, yes. coffee yeah. tables, yeah, um, console tables. Yeah. Uh, again, this just shows some more of the upholstering that, yeah. that we do. Um, so these are all. These are all. These are all. Spoke, yes. Order, yeah. yeah. So th these are really just to give you some ideas of the styles, yeah. because you can imagine if I came to you and say, right, what sofa would you like? what yeah. fabric what size you just look blankly and yeah. say I, I don't know so lots of people will come in look at that sofa and say well i like that but yeah. i want it with a stripe yeah. or i need it a bit longer yeah. or uh, i don't I like chrome this, legs and i want, this, I want exactly black metal legs yeah well that, that's well, why we do it yeah. Yeah. Mm. but what what we also do is not just sofas but things like the ottoman we've got here in front yeah. of us yeah. So it's not just sofas and chairs that we do. Yeah. We can do uh, bespoke headboards, right, okay. um, padded walls. We, yeah. we do commercial work, so hotels and things, bars, that yeah. type of thing you go yeah. to. It's not just it's, sort of residential fast, sofas. So I don't know about you, Jan, but I've been bowled over with, I know, with, I've been with, really the, tour, impressed. Yeah. with the tour. So if you're looking at a kitchen, a sofa, any floor coverings, wallpaper, Anything. Um, curtains. Bedrooms. <laughs> Studies. Bedrooms. Bedrooms. <laughs> Anything like that, then I think your first port of call has got to be coming to, to open. Come and, come and have a look around. Come and meet the friendly staff here. Yeah. Um, and they genuinely are as friendly as this in real life as well. It's not just... Yeah, we don't know. We are, not, we are all right. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't just for the camera. Yeah. Yeah. And I, but, I, so. I know they'll do the same. But we would, would like to say that we, we're happy if people just come in and have a browse. Yeah. We're not ex we don't pounce on you and expect you to buy something. No. By all means, if you're walking past, just pop in, have a coffee yeah. or say hello and just just see what we do, really. That's, that's, well, that's important. So I couldn't have summed up any better. No. So yeah. thank you very much for, for your time today. It's been no a problem. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.